it is perhaps the most infamous raid in U.S. history. February 1993. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms storms a large compound in search of illegal guns. It is home to a Christian cult called the Branch Davidians, an offshoot of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. God speaks to me. The leader is David Koresh, who describes himself as a sinful messiah. Authorities said Koresh was having sex with underage girls in his compound. He also had multiple wives and fathered at least 13 children. So you should be having another one here in about a month, huh? Koresh, who made money selling guns. It's not against law to, to buy anything that they sell at a gun show. Was not about to surrender peacefully when his home was raided and along with his followers took up arms against the authorities. Four ATF agents were killed, at least 15 were wounded. Five Branch Davidians were also killed in that initial raid and Koresh himself took fire. Want to see one of the holes here? Here's one of them. The federal agents retreated. It was now a very tense standoff. FBI negotiators trying unsuccessfully to get Koresh and his followers to surrender. On April 19, 1993, patience had finally run out. With specially modified tanks and grenade-like canisters, federal agents launched a tear gas attack to force the Davidians out. What happened next was a total disaster. Flames engulfed the compound, killing nearly everyone, including Koresh. 76 Branch Davidians dead, 24 of them children. Only nine people made it out alive. Critics blame the FBI's tear gas for the blaze, but an independent special counsel ultimately found Koresh ordered the setting of the fires. And there were also some suicides and mercy killings inside the compound. 23 years later, it is a powerful reminder that those who say they'll die for a cause could very well be serious. Dan Simon, CNN.